ministers and ministers' wives. And I have to be the focus, that's my focus. No, sometimes in Kyoto, we must be you know, missionaries and their wives. It's Kyoto, so I'm saying there's no sometimes in Kyoto. Most of all, I belong to the Lord Jesus. So, so that's what you want. Yes, he said, Kai said, can you want to ask that? Amen. Because without Jesus, none of us would be here. And then, oh, yes, I'm going to let that get about this. I'm going to let that get And as I speak today, I want you to know that I'm standing here under the authority of my husband's ministry. And those of us that are going to let that get about this, they are the ones that 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 are the ones we were a team. team this. We work together. But I am always under his authority. Brother Lucas asked me a couple of days ago, when we first arrived, he mentioned that they would want me to say something here in the first session today. And the very second that the words came out of his mouth, the Lord quickened something to my heart and to my mind. Last week, we were at the family camp meeting in the nation of Malaysia. And Brother Ellis was the speaker. I think he's been here. Most of you probably know Brother Ellis. And um, on the last night, the last service of the camp, he preached an amazing, revelatory message. It revealed something to me that I had never thought about before. え、そして彼がその最後の話を書いておいてですね、もう本当にこう形式的な、ちょっとあの、いただいたその形式的な説教されました。私が今まで本当にそうそうしたいことのないような考えたことのないようなことでした。I'm not so much. And what he said and what God put in my heart is not only for Malaysia, it's for all of the world. And so I would like us this morning to turn together to the book of Acts. We Pentecostals love the book of Acts. <laughs> and we're going to turn to chapter 10. And just show you that. Book of Acts, chapter 10. Just show. I'm going to be reading from verse 1 up to verse 5. He says, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. There was a certain man in Caesarea called Cornelius, the centurion of the band called the Italian band, a devout man, and one that feared God with all his house, which gave much alms to the people and prayed to God always. He saw in a vision, evidently about the ninth hour of the day, an angel of God coming into him and saying unto him, Cornelius. And when he looked on him, he was afraid, and he said, What is it, Lord? And he said unto him, Thy prayers and thine alms are come up for a memorial before God. And now send men to Joppa and call for one Simon, whose surname is Peter. Next verse. He lodges with one Simon the Tanner, whose house is by the seaside. He shall tell thee what thou oughtest. と。え、実際から見せます。6節までです。え、さて、カイザリアにこれでよという名の人がいた。ダリアタイと呼ばれた部隊の発足長で、新人部下、家族一同と共に神を敬い、え、神に数々の施しをなし、絶えず神に祈
続いては今ヨッパに人がやってテテロと呼ばれるシモンという人を招きなさい6章6節も読みますこの人は身辺に家を持つ川なめしシモンというものの客となっているこの付けをした見つかりが立ちた後コルネリオはシモンが深いと部下の中で新人深い警察人々を呼び一切のことを説明して聞かせヨッパを送り出した仮説までお見せしました Surprised to me to hear you speak Japanese. I expect you to say things in Urdu. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to my translator speaking Urdu. <laughs> And I feel strange wearing my shoes because in Pakistan we do not wear our shoes on the platform. <laughs> So I'm having to make a few adjustments this morning. <laughs> We're gathered here today for a prayer meeting. We're starting this conference off on the right foot. We're starting with prayer. And I'm sure many of us are going to be praying for the nation of Japan. We're going to be praying that God will send forth labors. We're going to be praying that God will make us sensitive. But I want us to think about something from a little different angle today. We've just read the story of Cornelius. And Cornelius, as we know, was the one who opened the door by his,、um, when he called for Peter and Peter preached and they received the Holy Ghost. That opened the door for all of the Gentiles to be saved. And most of the time, when we hear the story of Cornelius, the emphasis is on Peter going and preaching and opening the door. Peter never prayed one time for Cornelius. The Apostle John never prayed one time for Cornelius. The church in Jerusalem never one time prayed for the Gentiles to be saved. It was not the church's prayer that caused the angel to come and talk to Cornelius. Cornelius did not know Jesus. He was a heathen. He didn't know anything about the Old Testament law. He was not a Jew. He had no experience with anything to do with Christianity. All Cornelius had was hunger in his heart. And it was a hunger that drove him from the time he got up in the morning. Until he went to bed at night. So, the Cornelia, the Coron, so the Waker took the one. As a Octa Tokara, so the Nere to Coroma, sweet in us. He didn't know who is the true God. Kaya, Honto Kanya, Dino, but she don't have this. He didn't know his name. So, Nama was she must end this. He didn't know where he lived. So, say, it's the Eta from she must. He didn't know how to connect with him. So, some coming to know where it's not the Eta in she must end this. He didn't know how to contact. God always. 
つも常に祈っていました。He didn't know who God was. けれども彼は神がどなたか知らなかったんです。But he was praying and saying, Whoever you are, I need you. けれども神がどなたかであれ、どなたであれ、私にはあなたが必要ですと祈っていました。I don't know your name. あなたの名前は知りません。But I need you. けれどもあなたが必要なんです。I don't know where you are. あなたがどこにいるか知りません。But I want to come wherever that is. けれども、あなたがどこにいるとも来てほしいです。Day after day after day. 日々、日々毎日、毎日。Cornelius, a heathen, was praying. その、違法人であるコルネリオが祈っていたんです。And because of Cornelius' prayer, そのコルネリオの祈りによって、God put his finger on Peter. そして、神はその手を、指を、And God said, Peter, I've got something I need you to do. And we know the rest of the story. Could it be today that all over this nation of Japan there are people that got up this morning and they said, I don't know your name. I don't know where you are. I don't know how to find you. So I'm going to go to the temple and I'm going to give an offering. I'm going to go through my little rituals. Because that's all I know how to do. I don't know how to say your name. I don't know what your name is. But all over Japan. There are people seeking for Jesus. Yes, so they don't know him. They don't know how to connect with him. But they're saying, Oh, I know, I know that somewhere there is a true God. Not an image. Not a box that I put something in. I know there is a true God somewhere. And I'm praying again today. Oh God, who are you? Where are you? They're probably not going to come to this building. Because they don't know that's where he is. And what I want us to do today, we're going to pray and ask God, make me Peter. Help me to go where Cornelius is praying. Amen. I have a, um, I wouldn't call it a burden for pocket for Afghanistan. I love the nation. Of Afghanistan. Afghanistan Mostly the world looks at Afghanistan like the enemy. They're considered to be just about the worst in the world. But actually, the people of Afghanistan are wonderful, warm, loving people. And I personally, I, I love them. I wish I could go to Afghanistan and be a missionary, but they won't let us in there. One day, several years ago, I was praying for Afghanistan. You know how sometimes we get very um, involved in our prayer, and I was walking back and forth and kind of, you know, uh, almost not angry with God, but really feeling strong emotion. I was saying, Lord, open the door to Afghanistan. Open the door. Open the door. Afghanistan, Because that's how we think in our mind. And God spoke to me. 
そして神は私に語られました。He said, just be quiet, I want to tell you something. ちょっと静かにしなさい。私が何かね、話すことがあるから。<笑> so I sat down, だからちょっと座って、and I just sat quietly. そして、あの静かに座りました。And God spoke to me, and He said, と神は私に語られました。After my resurrection, 私の読み台の後、During that time that I was, after I'd been crucified and I was in the grave, my disciples were very afraid.、えーえーね、they thought they were going to be arrested and maybe crucified just like I had been crucified. And they were hiding in a locked room. The door was closed. そして彼らはその鍵を閉めて入れないところに隠れていたと。And Jesus said to me, I did not need an open door. イエスキリストは言われました。私はドアを開ける必要はなかったです。I just showed up inside. 私はそこに姿を現すだけでよかったんだ。And he said to me, You are not in Afghanistan today. あなたは今アフガニスタンにはいないけど、But I am. でも私はいるんだ。I am working in Afghanistan. 私は今現在アフガニスタンのために働いている。I am meeting hungry people who are calling out and asking, please deliver me from this darkness. 私は実際にイエスキリストが言われたのは、そのアフガニスタンにいて、その必要な人たち、必要を求めている人たちのために今働いている、そして彼らが本当に闇から解放されるようにと働いているんだ。And、Jesus said, at the right time, I will open the door from the inside. そしてその時が来ると、私はそのドアの中に入っていくと。I feel that today there are some areas of Japan that have been closed. えー、今日私は感じていることは日本においてある箇所は本当にドアが閉ざされています。There are areas we have not penetrated yet with the gospel. 福、え、音、ー、が運べていないところがあります。There are cities that are closed. ある町々は閉ざされています。But inside those cities there are people who are crying out for Jesus. けれどもその閉ざされた町々の中にいる人々。彼らの中には本当にイエス・キリストを知りたいと本当に泣き叫んでいる人がいるんです。They're not saying his name because they may not know his name. けれども彼らはそのイエス・キリストの名を知りませんので、その名前も読んでいません。But they are praying for truth to be revealed to them. けれども彼らは本当に真理を知りたいと祈っているんです。The harvest is ripe. 収穫はもう満ちています。祈っています。Jesus did not say pray that there would be a harvest. The harvest is already there. There are hungry people. He said, Pray for laborers. Pray for Peters who are willing to say, I will go and do what God has asked me to do. And so today, my.、Um, Way of leading you into prayer is that we're going to stand together and we're going to pray for strangers. We're going to pray for people we don't know. We're going to pray for people we've never met. We're going to pray for towns and villages and cities that we've never been to. But God is there today. We're going to pray for homes where back in the bedroom someone is praying right now. And saying, Lead me to somebody who can tell me the truth. It's wonderful for us to be here together. How good and how wonderful it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. We are so blessed to be here together. But there are many, many out there praying today for somebody named Peter or whatever your name is. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, I come to you today and I thank you for your spirit. I thank you for the revelation of who you are. 